On the morning of September the 4th, 2014, the offices of the Qatar Meteorological Society were a hive of activity, as all personnel eagerly awaited the arrival of the four sophisticated base station buoys of Qatar's advanced warning weather system. This would be the first deployment of its kind in the Gulf region. The buoys arrived accompanied by expert technicians, who immediately set about inspecting the various components of the integrated system. Each buoy is fitted with an array of instruments to detect air temperature, wind speed and direction, and ocean salinity, while a closed circuit camera provides real-time visuals and safety lights help to avoid collisions. The sophisticated onboard technology helps to detect even small changes and relay the information to experts for immediate analysis. After the inspection, the boys were immediately ferried to the Doha port to be loaded onto a specially equipped vessel. Alhamdulillah, we are going to take five boats, three boats of the Royal Navy and five boats of the Royal Navy. One of the most important things of this company is to provide all the boats of the Royal Navy and also the training that is required for the boats, such as the boats, the boats, the boats, the boats, the boats, or the boats. حاليا عندنا ثلاث بويات رئيسية وبويتين فرعية والحمد لله رب العالمين ركبنا البويات على كم الوقت. As night fell, the ship passed off into the dusk. Technicians were checking and double checking the functionality of each component. The degree of care and meticulous attention to detail is a guarantee of the continued success of this system for its benefactors. After a night of sailing, the team were nearing the first deployment point, and excitement was mounting among the technical team and crew. The anchor chain for the first buoy was being prepared on deck. All systems were activated, while a detailed briefing brought every stakeholder on board into clear focus for this historical first. <laughs> مع الإدارة الجمارك وإدارة خفر السواحل والشباب من كوريا والشباب من الصدر الجوية وشبابنا إحنا جهزية الشباب اللي عم ركب والقبطان Rehearsals, discussions and tests were over. The first buoy was slowly lowered into the water of the Arabian Gulf at the very edge of Qatar's maritime border. Qatar's first offshore weather station was allowed to float on its own. Now it was time for the concrete anchor block to be dropped into the water. Attached to the buoy with a heavy duty chain, the anchor is an integral part in keeping the buoy in place. The pioneering buoy was released from its tether to the vessel and was allowed to take its position in the service of science and the information needs of the state of Qatar. Today, from the north of the Khalid, in the north, وأيضا نزلنا إلى جزيرة حلول ركبنا البوية الثانية والبوية الثالثة والأخيرة ركبناها بالقرب من جزيرة شرعو يعتبر جنوب شرق مدينة الدوحة. The conditions arising from the east are often difficult to predict due to the nature of maritime weather conditions. The advanced weather warning system addresses this issue by filling in this data. The load on board the vessel got lighter, so also the crew became better and faster, and Qatar's real-time weather map improved in accuracy. The state of Qatar now has the very valuable capacity 
to accurately forecast weather conditions long before they reach the shores of the Pearl of the Gulf.